So, you might have seen this relatively new AI feature of Photoshop going around recently, where people have been doing some incredible stuff. I've been using it for fun and even use it on a few of my projects. I then had the idea that what if we took star citizen ships that CIG have meticulously created and try to change them for better or for worse. I think it would be awesome to either change their style or their in-game role where possible. The only rule is I can only use the AI tool within Photoshop. I cannot go and get other assets or do any other corrections to make changes to the ships. We'll start with four ships in this video and if you enjoy it, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what ships you'd like me to do in the next video. I would also love your help in naming our new mutated versions of these ships as we go today, so please put all of your ideas in the comments. Sound good? Let's get into it. Before we start, you know the drill by now, new month, new Star Citizen ship giveaway, but more on that later in the video. Okay, and here we are in Photoshop. So I thought we'll start with a cheeky, cheeky vulture. You know, something a bit different, something maybe that um, you would normally not see in other configurations other than for salvage. I'm going to use this image here, I believe. This is quite a good one. I feel like it gives us a nice, a nice bit to work with to really change the vulture up, make it something completely different. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I feel like we need to add wings i feel like it'd be good if it had like some small wings so let's let's make some let's make some wings maybe coming out of this segment here like and then connect it back to this bit and then maybe bring it in there and then we're going to generate film we're going to go plain wings or plain wing oh okay okay i kind of like that what options have we got that one's way too thin that one looks that one looks quite good i like both of those I quite like the little podiums. Okay, so that's worked out quite nicely. I think what we should do now is try and match the wing. Okay, perfect. So I would imagine because of like the industrial look, they would sort of fold and tuck away somewhere. I also feel like we could make this into like a bit more of a pirate vulture. Maybe like nine towers have taken it over. So maybe we could put some like blades on it. So what if we were to do something like, and we just type in blade. Will it allow us to do a knife? Because I think there's rules and guidelines with this Photoshop at the moment. Oh, they do let you do it. Oh, look at that. That is like pure... Ra oh my God. <laughs> this looks so good. I'm going for that one. That one looks brilliant. Okay, let's do the same again to this side as well. I love the yellow hue on that. And and I love, I love how it's sort of... It's got a slot it's coming out of. Yes, okay. I'm so on for this like pirate look now i'll tell you what we have here what about if we have like a pirate logo so let's go this here and we'll go like skull and crossbones let's see if it puts in a skull and crossbones what on earth <laughs> what has happened here what is this it's, let's put like a, a body in here what is that <laughs> what is that we can't not have it, whatever the hell that is. Okay, what about some form of like turret up top? Oh yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. Turret, what? There's a tank, it looks like a Sherman up there. I don't know what I prefer, uh, definitely that one. That one looks like a like a Sherman or something from World War II, and that one looks like an artillery piece. I think I prefer that one. I feel like it needs sort of like a Mad Max, like big engine on the back here. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it needs something that's like poking off the back of this. Booster. Booster. Yeah, like a big rocket booster at the back. That would be really cool. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we just need, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And we'll bring the opacity down on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. It even kind of matches the uh, the motion blur. Like, oh, do you know what we need? Stack exhausts. We need stack exhausts, and that will be the end of this one. There we go. There we go. And then I think maybe if we just get some... Maybe if we get some, like, smoke. <laughs> yes, okay. I love it. I don't know what this is. It's kind of pirate-esque. And here we have the before and the after. 
please let me know in the comments below what would you name this so the standard is the vulture what are we calling it put a comment below ship number one what are we what are we naming it the re the, the pirate remaster what is this is have i improved it is this better than what cig have done have has the ai done absolute wonders here <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Prospector, another industrial gameplay loop ship that I think could do some functional improvement. <laughs> now, my first idea here is to actually add a crane. I've never really liked how the gems just get sucked up in extraction mode like Nunu from Teletubbies. So wait, is it called Nunu? Anyway, I've just never liked how it works. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice big crane on the roof. Nice. Okay, perfect. So now we've got this crane. I feel like that is like spot on, right? Because you're prospecting. You've got all your little, your little gems coming up or you're cracking a big rock. You need a crane. Now we need somewhere to put it. And I don't know what we should put it in. I feel like, what did we call it? A trailer maybe? Or like a skip? Let's do this. Let's... What the f... <laughs> what is... What... I put skip. Oh, it's someone skipping. I see. It's a. It, I mean, is it? That looks like the freaking little, the little uh, Martian from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm so depressed. <laughs> okay, I kind of prefer that look on the on the storage. It reminds me more of the like the whole the whole sea siding. Okay, that's that's the storage. So they're like little buckets that the crane can put stuff into. Okay, perfect. Now, what's next? I feel like an antenna. We need an antenna of some, you know, you've got to scan the surfaces down there for the for the bits you need. So let's go, let's go like this. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I forgot that we could add things in the background. I was kind of doing it on the ship, but it's just added an antenna behind. I'm, I might keep that anyway, even though that's not on the ship. I quite like the look of that. No, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, so we've got a little antenna now on the, on the side. That, that is spot on what we want. I want to put some like new landing struts. I feel like, you know when there's a big like truck with a crane on top and it has to embed itself into the ground before it tries to lift things. Otherwise it will like topple over if it's too heavy. I feel like we need those. So we need like some landing struts. Yes, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, look, you can have like little doors. I was thinking about having a little door. That looks like an emergency ramp from a plane. That one's better. That's better than the landing strut. We haven't. We, I didn't even think about that. A door. That's got windows. That looks like a fancy ass strut. Yeah, I like the stairs. I like the stairs. It makes more sense. Okay. Oh, do you know what this needs? I know. I can. I know exactly what this needs. So now we've got little safety lights. So you know that can blink while we're doing the mining. Not that you need another bright thing to say that mining's occurring. This should be enough. But you never know. So we started with this. The Miss Prospector doing some mining, and we ended up with this absolute monstrosity. I think I've improved it, okay? We've got a crane. I don't see Chris Roberts putting cranes on ships. Probably a good reason for that, but <laughs> to hear me out, I think this is good. I think this is a good improvement. How else are you going to pick up the gems? You're going to suck it up through the, the weird mining thing? No. Crane, bucket, stairs, antenna. Okay, here we are, blank canvas. I've got two pictures of the Carrick. Of course, we have to go for the Carrick next. I've got this, which is more of a rendered image, which I can't like the idea of. Or we've got the standard flying Carrick. Now, that one I feel like we might be able to do a bit more with because of this one. I mean, for starts, get rid of get rid of the freaking Pisces. Whilst it's cool, we don't need it in the picture. This is all like the Carrick. Okay, Pisces is rid. Do you, do you know what I would like? I would love. I would love to have a window cleaner on the side of this. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Just give me a big sponge. Is that not what the job title is? is it, what is the job? <laughs> no. What is going on here? <laughs> Maybe we can have some like soldiers standing up here. <laughs> what is this? What is happening up here? Napoleon has landed his carrot by the looks of things. <laughs> what is going on? All right, I feel kind of limited with this image. I feel a little bit limited with this image. So let's start fresh with this one. All right, first things first. I never really liked the wings of the Carrick. It's cool, but n no. So we're going to put in some new wings. Oh, oh, look at that. It kind of reminds me of the wings of the Merchant Man. So then we need to do the same over here. So we got our wings. I, 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 again, think we need some sort of cannon on the front. I feel like the Carrick is, like, woefully ill-equipped for weaponry. 
So maybe a nice chunky big cannon that's just sitting up here. I like that. That one looks cool. That looks like a Star Destroyer. Oh yeah. Star Wars style. Now we're starting to get somewhere. This is looking like, <laughs> this is looking ridiculous already and I love it. We definitely need like an, a radar dish. So let's go at the back right here. Let's just get a nice, oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> now we are cooking with gas. Proper old school. We're going for another, we're going for like another sort of cannon firing action shot. Maybe like a laser. But I'm thinking like a cannon firing. Just like a big burst of flames. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> what about that? Or oh, what about that? But then... And there we go. We've got an action shot. We've got the lasers coming in. I can probably like maybe make those a little bit more glowy. Okay, we've got a nice action sequence there from our new ship, the Karak. The Karak or the Karak. And finally, to finish, I thought we could grab the weirdest little ship in the game right now, the Drake Herald. <laughs> this little thing is fantastic. And I think we could really do a number on it. I will say, if you want to see me do more of this kind of stuff that you've seen today in the video, then please do let me know in the comments below that you'd like to see more parts, and I will, of course, do that for you. Okay, so first things first, let's set extend. Let's add the extra background to this image. What do we want to do with this? Well, first things first, I think we should actually remove the wings. These little wings, I don't think there's any time for them. I think we should have um, VTOL engines that are coming down and on the on the side oh okay i think we're onto something there that is looking a lot better i know it's still not perfect but it, it's on its way to being something oh that's interesting if they were more solidly connected maybe we could build some like sort of metal struts uh metal let's say metal see if it see if it does it there we go that's looking better like maybe like that they look a little bit more connected now, right? So now you're starting to see this form. Okay, perfect. Then let me say warning lights. I think these just seem to flow nicer with the shape. Yeah, I'm going with those ones. This is looking good. I'm actually really happy with this one. Okay, now we need landing gear, right? Landing rods. Okay, I think that's a bit better. I think if we if we can get those there, that would look quite good. That works. That actually does work. And if I bring it to the top, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that kind of looks like it's right at this point. I feel like we need another window up here. I feel like we need okay, like a nice viewport. Like you've got passengers. I know there's no room up here really, but maybe there's like a bed. Like may imagine inside there was like a, a little bunk bed. You call up a ladder and then the top is like a little attic. Yeah. Yeah. This is like your sunroof. You know, your land planet side. This one looks the best. Your land planet side. You want to just get a bit of, you want to get a bit of sun through the window. It's like, a, it's, it's turning it into a caravan. We're turning it into like a little mini caravan and I love it. Okay. So we've got a live, a nice sun window. Should we get like, a, I think, I think another turret. I think a turret would be good. I feel like we need like rocket pods, like something that goes out like this. Like if we could have two rocket pods, like out of aliens, that'd be so good. Uh, rocket pods. They look like actual rocket pods in a way though. They look like they open up and they have rockets inside. And that's kind of exactly what I was thinking when I was building this. So that's great. Oh, do you know what we need? A little grabby arm thing that goes... Bum, 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 bum. So then we just go like, yeah, like that. It's got like an extendable wrenching claw thing. And you can just, you could just go about your business picking things up. It's almost like a salvage vessel now. Oh, do you know, do you know what we, do you know what we do need? Do you know what would be great? What about a pirate flag? A little skull and crossbones just sitting on top. And then we just need to grab the, grab a color replacement, go for a black. And then... There we go. A black pirate flag. I also think we should like maybe bring this opacity down a bit. That is our final piece. So then we've gone from this herald to this. Gang, I don't know what we want to call it, but please comment below. What is the name of this ship? I love it. It's perfect. It's so good. 
And there we go. That brings us to the end of the video. Here are our four mutated ships that just look horrendous. I've posted them on all of my socials, such as Instagram and Twitter. So if you'd like to save copies, you can find them there and you can download them in full resolution. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you've enjoyed yourself today and leave a comment below on what ships I should do next. But for now, it's time for this month's ship giveaway. Best of luck. This month's ship giveaway is the Aurora MR starter package. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is the following. Subscribe to my channel with the notification bells turned on, please. Like this video and leave a comment below that contains the buzzword Give July. All one word, just like you're seeing on screen right now. This will gain you one entry. However, if you'd like more free entries, then head over to my other socials such as TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, find the Aurora MR giveaway post, and follow the instructions on that post. Each platform is one additional entry, and all the links can be found in the description below. I will announce the winner on my first live stream in August here on YouTube. Please remember that if you are entering on YouTube, I will need a way to get in contact with yourself, so please have an email address on your YouTube channel's about section. Good luck and peace.